What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy OG Kicks, and we back with another video. I know it's been a little while, bro, but we got a little something different for you guys today, bro. We got a bunch of my personal shoes out on the floor right now, and the reason being is because I was looking at my closet a couple days ago, and I was like, man, I got some nice shoes in there, right? Obviously, I wear most of them, and pretty much all of them. I was like, you know what? I should make a video on the shoes that I have. This, mind you, this isn't even everything. This is just my 12 favorite pairs, you know? I'm gonna go through pretty much every single one of them, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about each one. Some of them have a little bit more meaning than others. Some of them I like more than others. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get straight into it. We got 12 pairs out right now, and we got one more up here. This is an honorable mention, just because this is the one of the very first Jordan ones that I bought and kept. My shoes, man. Ooh. I've been buying shoes and reselling them since I was like a sophomore, bro, like a freshman. So here's my high school colors were blue and gold. And this pair just went perfectly with my school colors. So the day this pair came out, um, I paid resale for it. I didn't hit retail. I paid resale for it. I've had them ever since. And I really love this pair. And the pair that I'm talking about is a pair of these Royal Toll Jordan 1s. No, this isn't the best pair, not the most sought after, not even the most expensive. It actually might be one of the cheaper ones that I have, but this pair just holds weight in my in my heart, bro. Like, I took this pair to take my graduation pictures with my cap and gown. I actually haven't worn these in months, bro. Like, I'm gonna throw them on right now just for the rest of the video. Come on, just because I haven't worn these in ages bro i see it man we out here with the jordan one royal told y'all see it bro the very first pair that i'm gonna start with is gonna be the newest pair that i have gotten and this is for my boy over at heaven sneaker shop shout out my boy angel man my boy angel hooked me up with this pair of flu games it's probably one of the only pairs of jordan 12s that i like personally um uh, this is a shoe that i wanted when i was younger but I, when i was younger i didn't really have the money to get these now that I'm a little bit older, now, you know, I got my own money. So my boy posted these on his store and I was like, man, I need those, bro. So I hit him up. I told him I need them. He got them shipped out to me. I think a pair of those that Michael Jordan wore just sold the original flu games. I think it was, it sold for like $1.8 million. So that's pretty crazy. One of my favorite pairs right here, Jordan 12 flu games. We got a pair of these Aqua 8s, man. You guys do not know. How much i like this pair right here i don't even like jordan 8s bro you will never catch me in a pair of jordan 8s unless it's a pair of these aquas i just have always always this is another one like the jordan 12 like the flu games that i always wanted when i was younger but obviously i couldn't get i was at a sneaker event this was probably like two years ago i saw them on the table and i was like bro those are my size i'm a cop i was like what size are they he told me nine and a half Bro, give them to me, bro. I think I caught these for like 80 bucks, bro. A pair of these Jordan 8 Aquas. Beautiful, beautiful pair. You guys see the bottom. See the shoe. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoe. Let's see what we got. Are we just going to go in a row right here? I think we should just go in a row. Why not? Next up, we got a pair of these Reverse Travises. Bro, if you guys have seen me out and about with these, bro, I cook these, bro. Like, I be taking these everywhere bro like these are probably my daily beaters at this point i wear these a lot bro i love this shoe trav i feel like this might be one of his best ones if not his best at, at the very least this pair is top three in the travis collection i i 100 believe that very beautiful color blocking if i were to keep one shoe in all my collection i don't know if it would be this one i might i might be getting ahead of myself but this would for sure be in consideration for one of the pairs that i would keep if i was only able to keep one pair so on to the next one all right next up we got a pair of these bread toe jordan ones i don't wear these as much as i used to just because i beat them up bro like i beat these up crazy bro i used to, i used to take these to the gym i still take these to the gym bro like these are Royal toe, bread toes, you guys tell me what to like. Me personally, I like red. I like bread toes. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. Obviously the bread toe, very iconic. Um, you could wear these, not with everything, but anything red, black, and white. This is a go, this is a go for sure. What am I, honestly bro, I really, it's like picking my kids, bro. Like I can't pick which one is my favorite kid. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna really be like that with pretty much every single one of these shoes, bro. Like I love all of these shoes equally, bro. Like I really love this pair of bread toe ones right here. Beautiful, beautiful pair. I've got my fair share of outfits with these, bro. And next up, this was my holy grail, bro. This is crazy expensive. Like at the time I could have probably never imagined having that pair. 
now that I have it, I just look back at it and it's so crazy to me that I actually have this pair now. This pair is a pair of Off-White Chicago's. Obviously, RIP Virgil Abloh, man, great mind, um, great designs. This this rug that I have right here, this white grass rug is from him. I need to show you guys the, the close-up on these. Got the, obviously, the zip tie right here. We got the 85 on the inside. We got the Off-White Nike Air Jordan. All the writing, all the stars are there. I've probably worn these maybe twice since I've gotten these. This is one of the pairs that I just don't really want to wear. And I don't really want to do anything bad to these because this is a very, very expensive shoe. I don't really pull these out much. If you see me wearing these anytime, just know I'm wearing them for a special occasion. The very next pair, the first Jordan 1 ever created was the Chicago pair. If you guys have seen the new Air movie, um, this goes into great detail about how this shoe was made and shout out to, I forgot his name, bro. I wish I could just come up with his name on top of my head, but shout out to the creator of this shoe, man. I seen the movie and he was really the mastermind behind this entire shoe, bro. Very, very iconic shoe. Probably the most recognizable shoe of all time. If you ask me, I would probably put this one up there. If you see these, you know, those are Jordan ones. So it's funny because every time I wear these, a lot of the times, I will have older people come up to me or not come up to me but like they'll, they'll tell me they'll be like oh like those are jordan ones like i remember back in my day like those were popping like you know shout out my man mr whitehead man he was my econ teacher back in um senior year he told me and to this day he showed me a picture he has a pair of the original 1985 jordan one chicago's and i believe he has a box with them bro bro i've tried to convince him many many times to try and sell me his shoe but he told me he has a lot of sentimental value to him, which I completely 100% understand. But he used this pair um, to play basketball on him. Um, on his high school team, he played basketball in the 1985 Jordan 1s. I mean, the hundreds of thousands of people did back then. But now that you look back at it, it's like, wow, bro. And the craziest part is he still has the shoes. I, I would have to look at the shoes to tell you exactly what they're worth, but they're in the thousands for sure. And what's crazy is they're way, way, way worse condition than these, but those are worth a lot more just because of the um, historic value behind them and just how old they are. All right, on to the next pair. We got a pair of the Travis Scott Mocha Highs. This was the very first um, Travis pair that I ever bought for myself. Um, so again, a lot of sentimental value to these. I really, really love this pair. I've gotten my fair share of outfits with these like i was saying when i said um these are like top two or three whatever i said these are as well top two or three bro this is a beautiful beautiful shoe obviously the first jordan one that he dropped um you gotta see that a very very beautiful pair along with the with the low with the low one of these i would for sure cop that pair i don't think i'll ever sell these i'll just keep these for Probably forever, bro, until the soul comes off. All right, and then this pair over here, I don't really have too much sentimental value to these. I don't really um have any story to tell with these. I just really like the shadows, bro. Very great leather, very great material. The colors are obviously fire, bro. You really can't go wrong with black and gray. If you can't wear black and gray, bro, like, I don't know what to tell you, game. Like, like if you can't throw an outfit with these, bro, like, you can't come around me. Like, like I don't know, bro. Like, if you really can't throw an outfit with these, bro, like, nothing can save you at that point, you know? This is just a good look option to have in your closet right here is a pair of these jordan ones jordan one shadow 1.0s beautiful beautiful pair as you guys can see beautiful pair all right this is the most beat pair that i have in my closet by far not close it's not even a, it's not even a competition bro look at the heels on these bro look at the boost they don't even have insoles what happened to them i don't even remember it is my favorite pair of yeezy 350s is right here this brand 350 i've had these for almost like three years already so i've had these for a really really probably like four years i've had these for a really really long time black and red you can't go wrong as you guys can see i have a lot of black and red you guys can probably tell what my favorite color is but 350s if you guys don't have a pair of 350s i would really really recommend buying a pair of 350s because they're very comfortable bro and you know they're, they're it's not in i mean some people think they're ugly obviously it all depends on your personal preference but i personally really like these i've thrown a lot of outfits with these um i've taken them to the gym i've taken them i've taken them everywhere bro I like literally like i've taken these everywhere you could wear these anywhere very 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 comfortable shoe probably the most comfortable shoe in my closet other than my slides obviously all right bro my camera just died i had to get a new battery but let me just finish off with saying this is probably the most comfortable shoe that kanye has ever made right behind the slides bro because hold on let me tell y'all look um 
this these pair of slides bro kanye needs a nobel peace prize for what he did with these slides bro whatever he put inside of these slides i know obviously there's nothing big but man he needs he needs some type of award bro because he went crazy whenever he made those slides bro you know what most of his shoes are very comfortable bro but hey, you can't really go wrong with black and red especially when the majority of it is black so very nice pair very comfortable pair very beat pair as you guys can see but it's all good man we wear our shoes around here and for the next pair we got very first pair of jordan fours that we're gonna show um and it's this pair of military blacks right here to this day bro military blacks are still one of my best selling shoes ever since these released these have been my best selling shoe bro like, this is such a nice colorway bro like it's just black white gray very very simple I know you guys remember me talking about those shadows. If you can't wear those shadows, bro, I don't know what to tell you. But if you can't wear these uh, militaries, you need help, bro. Like, you gotta find God or something, bro. Because if you can't rock these pair of militaries, bro, this is literally the easiest shoe to wear, bro. And it's very, it's a very, very nice shoe to wear. These are pretty beat. I've worn these. Man, I can't even... I can't even tell you guys. I wouldn't put this up there for like top five Jordan Forevers, but it's just a very nice shoe to have because you can wear them with a lot. And it's just majority white, black. So I had to cop them. I needed them. Very, very nice shoe. Can't go wrong with the pair of militaries. All right, let's go on to the next one. We got another pair of these Jordan 4s. And this pair right here is probably one of the most iconic pairs. I believe this pair right here, I might be a little bit biased just because I really love red and red's my favorite color. I'm one of the most recognizable and I believe this pair, personally, my opinion, um, these are in the top three. If you don't agree with me, I think you're wrong. <laughs> I mean, I could say I am a little bit biased, but just because they're red, but bro, with the Nike Air on the back, one of the OG pair of fours, like you really, really, really can't go wrong with these, bro. I need to get another pair of these because, bro, these are beat, bro. These are crazy. I mean, if, as you guys can see, bro, I wear my shoes. So most of my shoes are pretty good just because I do wear my shoes a lot. But yeah, this pair of Jordan 4 Fire Reds, I believe is in the top three, right behind the Bread Fours and the White Cement Fours. I think those, those are one and two. And then this is number three right here. There might be another one I'm forgetting about, but off the top of my head, I don't, I can't think of two other ones, two other Jordan 4s that are better than this one right here, other than the bread and the cement, obviously. All right, man. Last pair that I have for you guys today is a pair of these foam runners, man. They're alien shoes, bro. They're alien shoes. Kanye was just on a little sick one when he made these, bro. This isn't the nicest shoe, but it's very comfortable, bro. Very, very comfortable shoe. Slip-ons, just like the slides. I don't really have much to say about these. Very neutral. Um, I have a white and a red pair. Um, I really love this shoe just because they're comfortable and I could take them anywhere and they're very subtle. So it's like, you don't really, you're not really doing too much. You're just throwing on a pair of foam runners, you feel me? So Kanye, you deserve a Nobel Peace Prize. My boy is a genius. All right, man, I'm doing too much, Kanye. On my fault. I'm doing too much. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing too much right now. Y'all ain't even got to tell me, bro. I know I'm jumping on it right now. Relax, everybody. Y'all ain't even got to say it, bro. Again, foam runners. Very, very nice. I mean, very comfortable pair. Let me rephrase. Very comfortable pair. Throw these on with anything. I think that's pretty much it. We showed you guys about 12, 13, 14 pairs. I think this is like 12 pairs. 13 with the royal toes and then the slides honorable mention because the slides are the most comfortable thing that i have ever put on my feet bro very very comfortable but yeah that's pretty much it guys you guys already know what to do man you guys like these videos go ahead and like subscribe comment do all that good stuff and yep yeah, stay tuned bro because we got more videos coming i'll catch y'all man